Hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the problems regarding the block diagrams. How to solve when a system represented in a block diagram? How to find out the transfer function? We will discuss two problems. So here, the given problem is, this is the block diagram. If you observe here, the transfer functions or gains s by s plus 1, 1 by s is represented in terms of the blocks and x1 of s and x2 of s and y of s. Here x1 of s, x2 of s are both are inputs. Why inputs these are? Because x1 of s is giving input it will not take any this arrow and x2 of also it will give and it will the system will have arrow arrow far away from the variable but in the given problem itself x1 of s is equals to 0 there is no x1 of s that's why we have only one input that input is the x2 of s what is the output output will have incoming so output is y of s so he is asked to find y of s by x2 of s so we have to use the same masses gain formula in the previous method what is the masses gain formula so here masses gain formula is nothing but trans it will give the transfer function that is p1 del 1 plus p2 del 2 by del so in order to analyze these things first look at how many loops we have okay how many forward paths we have first look at the paths or forward paths so how many paths we have look at here there is no path actually in this way but we have from x2 to ys we have only one path so forward path 1 p1 equals to 1 by s yes. okay next uh, is there any forward path to there is no forward path to actually so and what is del 1 del 1 means 1 minus is there any is there any path is there there is no path 1 minus 0 del, del 1 also 1 then what is del del equal to 1 minus sum of individual loops so where is the loop is there so first we have to write the loops so for that loops we have only l1 is the loop look at here this is the loop actually understand this is the loop actually just write down the loop gains so here loop gain this is the s by s plus 1 is the gain into and there is the 1 by s and here is the minus 1 then l1 so here loop l1 equal to we will have minus 1 by s plus 1 this is the loop gain 1 this is the loop gain 1 okay del equal and is there another loop there is no another loop actually so that's why we will take directly so now we will substitute del minus l1 so 1 minus here we have only one loop the substitute in this is only one loop minus 1 by s plus 1 so by finding this we will get s plus 1 plus 1 by s plus 1 so we will get s plus 2 by s plus 1 s plus 2 by s plus 1 from this we can write the transfer function that is the transfer function equal to forward path 1 1 by s into where is del 1 del 1 is 1 by what is del del is s plus 2 by s plus 1 s plus 2 by s plus 1 by substituting this finally we will get transfer function equal to s plus 1 by s into s plus 2 s into s plus 2 so this is the transfer function
this is the transfer function okay same as the signal flow graph block diagram also follow the same path if first you have to recognize how many loops are available how many non touching loops are available then you have to find out the del1 apply the same formula you will get the block diagram transfer function here same problem block diagram is given here and he need to find out the transfer function just observe here this is the input and this is the output so first for any problem you have to do you have to recognize first how many forward paths are available first we have to look at the forward paths so first i will take this path so look at here this is entering and this is the first path this is the forward path one so what is forward path one gain is here is g is the only one gain and next take the forward path two where is the forward path to take this forward path two so look at this way look at this path this is the forward path two so this is the but forward path two also we have the g only next forward path three so here just observe forward path three so this is also g and h forward path three is g and h yeah look at the forward path take this forward path so this is the forward path again this is the g and this is the h and this is the g it will reach to the c so this is the forward path is forward path 3 equal to g h g g h g next forward we have another forward if you clearly observe we have the forward path 4 we have the forward path 4 how is the forward path 4 same forward path so if you take if you follow this path this is the g and this is the h and again this is the g this is also the one forward path so forward path 4 is same g h g g h g these are the forward paths okay these are the forward paths next so how many loops next we have to take it for the loops so available loops are available loops look at here i will take the loop is g h g h is the loop just to observe clearly this is the loop g h and the g h is the loop so i can take it loop 1 that is g h and the g h this is the loop okay so from this we can write del value del equal to sum of loop gain l1 so 1 minus g h and g h you will get 1 minus g square and h square g square and h square this is the del okay so from this we can write transfer function uh, we can write del1 del2 del3 also so just take the del1 so here del1 is there del1 means is a forward path one for the forward path one all the paths will be touched so one <coughs> same this is the del2 all the paths will be touched so also 1 and del3 is 1 del4 
is also 1 okay so now we will use the transfer function formula transfer function formula equal to p1 del 1 plus p2 del 2 plus p3 del 3 plus p4 del 4 so which will give by del which will give by del so you know that what is p1 p1 value is the g what is del 1 del 1 value is the 1 next what is p2 p2 value is also g what is del 2 del 2 value is 1 what is p3 g square h what is del 3 this is the 1 p4 g square again h del 4 is 1 okay so where is the g del value del value is 1 minus g square h square g square h square okay so if you modify this finally you will get the transfer function of this given block diagram g plus g will give the 2g g square h g square h will give the 2g square h 2g square h by 1 minus g square h square 1 minus g square and h square okay so for any problem he is given block diagram just use the Moses gain formula apply properly to that just identify first number of forward fast and next for the loops and then you find out the del value after that you find out the del 1 del 2 del 3 del 4 substitute all the values in the transfer function equation Moses gains formula you will get the transfer function just observe it's look like a big diagram but finally we will find out a transfer function we are finding the relation between input and the output so that is the importance of the Marsens gains formula okay so this is a procedure to do to do any block diagram any block diagram can be converted into the transfer function okay I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.